Hey guys, today I'm going to be reading for you the second lesson in the Unique Learning Systems curriculum for the month of March. I know we're a little behind, but that's okay. Sometimes that kind of stuff happens. So if you remember right from the last video, our topic is keeping my home safe. So we're going to continue on with that topic. And this time we're going to read this story called Problems with Pests. So if we look at that picture on the front of the story, what do you think a pest is? You see how she's got like dirty dishes all over the counter and trash. And then if you notice down towards the bottom, there's a little friend right here. That could either be a mouse. I think in this case, it's a mouse. It could be rats, depending on where you live. But a pest is, you know, any sort of little creature that might make their way into your house and they don't really belong there, do they? So we're going to le read a little bit more about that. So as always, we're going to learn some different words from this story. So the first word to learn is pest. So that's a bug or a small animal that can bother people or cause harm. So when we think about pests, you know, sometimes you might have mice in your house. You might get bats in your house. You might get any kind of bugs like those box elders sometimes work their way into houses in Michigan. Um, termites or sometimes people get bees nests or wasp nests all mixed up in their house. So all of those things, so bugs and small animals are considered pests. We're also going to look at the word accident. So that's when someone gets hurt or someone gets or something gets broken. Have you ever had an accident of some sort? I definitely have. Everybody has. If you haven't ever had some sort of an accident, that just, you know, is part of being human. We all make mistakes and we all have accidents. What about the word landlord? Have you ever heard of that? So that's a person that rents homes or buildings to other people. So if you are a person that rents like I do, I rent a home in Mount Pleasant. Um, I have a landlord. So that person is the person that actually owns my house and I just kind of pay them money to live there. Next, we'll talk about pest control spray. So this could be a spray that is used to keep bugs and small animals away. I know in a house I lived in in the past, like I said, we had box elders in our house and that was really frustrating and annoying, but there was a spray that we had to use to kind of keep them away. So depending on what kind of pest you have, you might have to get some other sort of product or you know, some sort of trap, depending on what they are. Like, you know, I have a cat, so let's say I had ants in my house. I would want to make sure that I get some sort of, you know, trap or spray that's pet safe because I wouldn't want my cat to eat that up. So you really have to look at a lot of factors when you're getting something to get rid of these pests. So some things to learn from this story. It is not safe to live in a home that has pests. So it's really not safe to live in a home that has some sort of pests infiltrate them because those things are usually kind of dirty. So if you have mice, they could be getting into your food, eating your food, touching you know your stuff with you know they might have some diseases that you can get from the mice same with bugs same with anything that could get into your home it's not really safe to live with those things we're also going to talk about homes need to be maintained to stay nice right uh, anybody who has a home or a place they live sometimes you have to do things to keep your home looking nice you have to do some maintenance, if you will. So, you know, this could be really anything. 
from cleaning your house, right? Keeping it clean because the cleaner it is, the less pests you'll have. It can also be, you know, things like something broke and now you have to fix it. Another thing we'll talk about is that it, it is important to know how to keep pests out. So it's important to know what to do to keep, but make sure those pests don't keep bothering you or coming into your home. So we're gonna start off here on page one. So Sadie and Lindsay are using the blender. There is a problem. The power goes out and Sadie yells. Has that ever happened to you? The power goes out at your house? It's happened to me. Even when there's not a storm, sometimes that happens. Sometimes your breaker flips or you blow a fuse. But it can be kind of scary if all of a sudden just poof, the power goes out. Number two, Sadie is scared. Lindsay calls their landlord to fix the power. They do not want any more accidents. So if you rent a house and you have issues with that house, your landlord typically is the person that you would call to fix those problems. Or if they have a maintenance person, sometimes if you live in a big apartment complex, you might call the maintenance department or the people that handle the maintenance. But that's kind of the good thing about renting sometimes is that if something breaks or if something goes wrong, there's somebody else to fix it. Now, if you own a home, that's kind of on you to figure out how to fix it. So their landlord is upset when he gets there. There's trash all over the house. There are dirty dishes of food on the counter and the trash can is overflowing. Like, ah, look at that guy. He's got his arms crossed. That usually kind of tells us people are mad. There's, if you look in that picture, there is dirty dishes and trash all over the floor. That's pretty gross. Let's look at page four. Their landlord turns on the power. Then they talk about the mess. Their landlord says they will get pests. Pests are, small, are bugs and small animals. It is not safe to have pests. So if your place is dirty and you don't do dishes, you leave trash everywhere, you're more likely to get things like pests. Move on to page five. Ooh, look at that piece of trash up there. What's on there? What do you think those little creatures are? Their landlord sees ants on old candy wrappers. Gross. He tells the girls this is not safe. Lindsay throws away the candy wrappers. Let's move to the next page. The trash can is full and smells bad. Ugh. See that person? Ugh. There are flies everywhere. This is not safe. Sadie takes the trash outside. Ooh, that is gross. It probably doesn't smell very good and I wouldn't want flies all flying around in my house. Let's go to page seven. There are dishes of food on the counter. There is a mouse on the counter. Ugh, that's gross. This is not safe. The girls clean the dishes and the counter. So because they left their food out and they didn't clean the dishes, there's a mouse that's up there munching on stuff. I know mice can seem cute, but they do carry some diseases and they're not very safe for us to be around unless it's, of course, you know, like a pet mouse that you got from the pet store. So the blender cord is damaged. The mouse chewed it. That's not safe either. And they can chew the wires inside your house, inside the walls. This is not safe. Mr. Cole fixes the cord. Mr. Cole sets a mouse trap. And there's tons and tons of different kinds of mouse traps out there. Um, of course, there's ones that kill the mice, and then there's ones that kind of just trap them, and you can take them outside. But you got to kind of do some research about what kind of traps or spray and stuff that you get. Page nine. 
their landlord sprays a pest spray. This keeps pests out of the house. Each pest spray is different. He reads the directions first. So it's called the bug be gone. So if you look up at that um, little bit there, the spray is called bug be gone. And you, like I said, you really need to read the directions to make sure you use it right because a lot of these project uh, products can be unsafe for us humans to consume or breathe in. And also if you have pets, you really have to think about them as well. You don't wanna spray something that's gonna harm them. Let's see, page 10. The girls will clean every day. This will keep pests away. They fix their problems with pests. Thank you, Mr. Cole. So like I said, if you keep your house kind of tidy, you know, you might, it's okay to like leave dishes for like a little while, but you can't leave them there for days because that gets really gross. It can attract mice, it, it can attract ants. You got to throw your trash away or at least put it outside so pests aren't getting in your house. All of those things. So let's look at this tip page here. So tip number one, cleaning a little each day helps to keep pests away. So you don't have to deep clean your house every day. I sure don't, but I take at least a half hour where I clean up my house every single day. Another way you can do this is take kitchen trash outside every night. If you have like a trash can in your garage or something like that, it's a good place to put it. Personally, I have a trash can in my kitchen that has a lid, so we're able to close the lid so mice and things wouldn't even be able to get inside my trash if, if they were in my house. Tip number three, clean up food scraps, plates, and wrappers as soon as you are done eating. So it's good to just clean up after yourself as you're doing the things. Last tip, read directions before using pest control spray. Always read the directions because like I said, it can be unsafe to you as a human and it can be unsafe to your pets. So you have to make sure you're using it correctly and know what to do. So right here is the, pest spray. sorry, right here is the page of words that we used in this story. If you'd like to pause it here and talk about any of these words, you can feel free to do so now. Next, we're gonna move on to the quiz pages. Ah, let me find those. So if you have your quiz, you'll wanna get it out now. As always, circle the answers you think that are correct, and then we'll talk about the, the problem after you have made your decision. So question number one, what is this story about? Is it about problems with pests, making pie, or sending text messages? Circle the answer you think is correct. So our story, Today was about problems with problems pests. With pets. Nice job. Let's move on to question two. So you'll need to flip your page or move to the next question. Number two, what does Lindsay do to fix the power? Does she change the light bulb, calls the landlord, or run away? Circle the answer you think is correct. She calls her landlord, calls landlord, which is good if you live in a rental because then it's not your job to kind of fix these powers, but it is your job to keep your, your house neat and tidy. 
Let's move on to question three. So you want to turn the page or move to the next question. Number three says, what does their landlord say the girls will get? Pets, presents, or surprises? Circle the answer you think is correct. Although it's super fun to get presents, that's not what the story was about. They might be surprised if they get pets. Pets. So pets is the correct answer. If you don't clean up your house and you leave food out everywhere, you might get pests. Let's move on to question four. What will the girls do every day? Will they paint? Dance or clean? The girls will clean every day. Clean. I mean, they could paint every day and they could dance every day, but in order to keep the pests away, they need to clean their house every day. Last question, question number five, if you'd like to turn your page or move to the next question. This question says, what is important to know about this story? It is safe to have pests in your home. Cleaning a little each day helps keep pests away or take a shower every day. Circle the answer you think is correct. The best answer here is the middle one. Cleaning a little each day helps to keep pests away. So cleaning a little each day helps to keep pests away. It's not safe, this option number one, it's not safe to have pests, pests in your home. Although this is true that you should probably take a shower every day, it's not what the story was about. We talked about pests. So I hope you learned a little bit today about how to keep your home safe in a different way. And that includes cleaning up. So if we go back to those that tip page, let me find it. So if we go back to our tip page, that includes cleaning your house a little each day to try to help keep those pests out. So cleaning a little each day helps to keep pests away. You should take your kitchen trash outside every night so or have it covered in a container that's covered. You should clean up food scraps, plates, and wrappers as soon as you're done eating. And you should read directions before using pest control spray. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.